my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe and if you're not an existing subscriber, welcome back. So it is my week two of my advent calendar already. I mean, all the other months have flown by, so December is of course also going to fly by as well. I'm excited to show you the stuff I've opened this week. There is some pretty good products. So if you haven't seen week one, I will link it below for you. And yeah, let's just get into week two. So what I do is I film my advent calendars and this year I have two advent calendars, or two 12 day advent calendars. One was created by myself, one was created for me by my best friend and I created her one as well. So the way that I do it is I open one and then I open the other one and just continue on with that. So I think last time we ended on one for my best friend I believe. So we'll be starting on the one that I opened which was my own. So. Let's just get into it. Oh, and just quick note before I start this. Like I said, if you haven't watched my first video, I started opening this advent calendar a little earlier than the 1st of December. So I started it, I believe, on the 29th of November because I am, fingers crossed, everything crossed, hoping that I will be going to my parents for Christmas and I'll be going there on the 23rd. So I didn't want to bring anything and I will need to film my advent calendar before I go because I'll be staying there for a longer period of time. Day number eight was from my advent calendar and it is this. So I don't know if you can read that. It's a Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow Illuminating Powder Duo. I saw this and I fell in love. This is pricey. This is a pricey, pricey product. And when I picked it up, I showed my sister and she was like, I'm so glad I didn't buy that because she was like, I was going to buy that for you for Christmas. I said, I'm so glad I haven't already started Christmas shopping for you. So I've been on a ban of buying any makeup products because she's like, I don't want you to buy the products that I bought you for Christmas. So I know I have some makeup products, which I'm excited about, but this is what it looks like. You know, it's fancy and expensive when it comes in a slip, but the packaging on this is just beautiful. Look at this. And then the inside is even prettier. So this is a blush and highlight. Oh, that's what I'll be using as anyway. I cannot wait to start using this. I It's not going to be one of those products that sit in my collection. I refuse to let it be because this was expensive. And it was definitely a splurge. That is kind of what I do for my advent calendar. I buy the products either that I just haven't had a chance to get around to buying or products like this that are definitely more of a treat to yourself. So that was day number eight from my advent calendar. Oh, and if you wanted to know, because it does have a shade, it was one sweet pink. Okay, so the next one was from my best friend's advent calendar. And my best friend knows me really well. We've been best friends for about 23 years. So she knows me pretty well. And she got me two products within this door. This is day number nine. And it was these two. So we have, firstly, one of my favourite micellar waters. And it is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. So she just picked me up a little mini of this. Which I just love this product. So I was so excited and so happy to see this. Because I don't have any of this in my collection at the moment. And then she also got me a cloth as well. Which, again, I love getting these. So this is a makeup remover towel. So I love getting these because I always use these when I have a cleanser that I need to remove off my face. Or if I'm using, like, a cleansing gel or a cleansing balm or anything, I always use these. I mean, another one to add to the collection, but I'm not complaining because you have to... I wash mine after every single use. So having, like, multiple of these on hand is always handy. So that was day number nine from my best friend's advent calendar. So I'm not going to say now like that was from my advent calendar, that was from my best friend's because you kind of hopefully will see the pattern. This product I picked up on a really big discount because this brand no longer is available. And I picked up the Becca highlight and I picked this one up because this is my favourite highlight from Becca. And... I only have a little mini of it and I really wanted a full size of it. It is the Prismatic Amethyst Highlighter and I just really wanted a full size of it. Did I need a full size of it? No. I was just thinking because I know they're not going to be available anymore, which they aren't. I think they've done something with Smashbox, but I think it was only really the popular products. I don't think this is one of them, but I have a full size of my favourite highlight now. Looks like this. So it doesn't look like much when it's in the pan. 
but on your face it is so beautiful and i just really wanted to have a full size of it and this i bought at a heavily discounted price i think it was like 10 pound i think because i bought it quite close to when becca was gonna be like stopping i got this from i think it was like john lewis harvey nichols one of those two for a really good price so i'm glad i picked it up because now i have a bigger version of it but i'm also really happy that i managed to get it at a bit of a discount as well okay and that was day number 10. day number 11 i have this so this is a mini mac lipstick in well so i already have this lipstick I don't know what I got it in. I don't think I purchased it. I think I got it in like a subscription box at one point. I have tried it. I've not tried it that much. So I don't really know exactly what I think. But it is more of like a brownie colour. But I'm definitely going to try it more and see what I think. I mean you can't go wrong with MAC lipstick. It's a really nice formula. It's something that's been around for a lot of years. And people still buy them and love them i know i love them still and i know there's so many colors that i still want to buy that was my day number 11. so what i've realized is in the advent calendar i created myself i seem to have bought an abundance of blushes and i don't know why i obviously blushes are just something that i seem to find myself gravitating towards quite a lot so for my day number 12 i have this and this is one of the pat mcgrath blushes when I saw these were released, I had to pick one up because they were just so pretty and I mean the packaging itself, look, you lift it like this. So I got it in Flirtatious, I don't know if you can see that. It's not a lot of products really that when I see it, I'm like, I must have that. There's been quite a few in my advent calendar that I've you know create for myself but usually i'm not usually the type of person where i see something and i fall in love instantly but with, with this the dolce and gabbana one and the nas blush palette that I, that I featured in last week's advent calendar those those products was just like as soon as i saw them i fell in love and all three of those products that's how i felt i just didn't even care how much they were so this is what it looks like and I don't have many blushes in my collection that look like this or that I can remember anywhere that look like this. There is quite a few colours in this like range but I wanted to pick one that I didn't have a lot of in my like a lot of shades like this in my collection. And I mean it's just so pretty. Just look at the design on it. It's, it's so so pretty. And again another product that I just cannot wait to pull out and try i'm hoping this is going to be beautiful i have no doubt because it's pat mcgrath it is okay so day number 13 again my best friend put two products in this door so the first one was the manuka honey and oat moisturizing hand cream i love my hand creams and this looks very very similar to a body shop one look so this is the one i'm using at the moment from body shop I love this formula, it's one of my favourite, favourite formulas for hand creams. They just moisturise my hands so well. And I have eczema on my hands and I don't know if you can actually see, it's starting to get a little bit flared up again, just the littlest bit, you can see on my knuckles. And I've tried a lot of hand creams and this, this formula and the Aveeno, they're the only things that really, really help when my hands get really badly flared up. So this looks very very similar so i'm curious to see what i think to this and it's by asda so if it's a good hand cream this is easily accessible because my local place where i shop is asda i love the pattern on it as well with all the bees i just think that was so cute so that's that was the first product and then the next product was three different vaseline tins flavors so these are always good to have i have used i think a pot of at least at least one pot of these in the past i think i've had one of these ones before so we have just the original we have the rosy lips one which i think is the one i've had before and then we have this one which looks to be in like a really fancy tin and it's the cocoa butter one but it says here 150 years of vaseline i think vaseline's been going along for a long time <laughs> 
And these are just always handy to have. You know, you can put these around the house. This is my day number 13. And last but no means least for my day number 14 is a brand that I've wanted to try for such a long time. And I just never got around to trying it or buying it because it is definitely more of a pricey brand. But the amount of people I've heard rave about these products. So I picked up a Sol de Janeiro. I think that's how you say it kit it is the bum bum summer jet set kit i think that's what it's called this is what it says here on the back so i have three i think these are like the most popular products i think so we have the hair and body fragrance mist we have the brazilian fall play moisturizing shower gel and then we have the brazilian bum bum cream it was the bum bum cream that i am the most excited to try so i'm actually going to open this and I'll get the products out. So it comes in a little case that you could always use for other things. We have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So I have tried a couple of these products. I think I've tried some samples, some shampoo and conditioner, and the smell of them was insane. And what they did to my hair was just, it, they made my hair look so beautiful. So they are on my wish list to buy when I don't have like, you know, shampoo and conditioner left. So we have the Bum Bum Cream. We have the Brazilian Fall Play Moisturising Shower Gel Cream. And then we have the Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. They are just little minis, but to be fair, I just wanted to try them and see what I thought. And if I do really like the Bum Bum Cream, that it would be something I would be willing to invest in because these are, for a moisturiser, I think they're about 30 something pound, which is just, it is a little bit insane for body moisturiser, but if it is good and it, you know, is worth it, I will definitely pay it. So that was my day number 14. That was my day 8 to 14 of my advent calendar, and I'm so happy with all the products I've opened. I will get use out of all of these products. I think this one might be the only one that I might not use straight away, just because I already have one of these open. And I'm hoping you're enjoying this series. I do this just so I can look back as well because I did it last year and I had a look back to see what I got last year and I, to be fair I completely forgot quite a lot of the products that I'd got so it's good to kind of just have it as a bit of a record for myself as well but I do hope you are enjoying it. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and it means the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and I'd love to know below your thoughts and opinions on the products I got from my day 8 to 14 and until my next video thank you for coming by. See you later.